Hello friends, I am Dr. Harish Mathur from Om Netralay, Varanasi, India. This video contains an operative procedure meant for eye surgeons for education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. It's not meant for children. So today we will be discussing about how to use this Akahoshi's pre-chopper and how this has made dealing with these soft cataracts so easy. So this is a grade 1 to 2 nuclei and there are various ways to tackle these soft nuclei. The old traditional ways such as the direct chop, stop and chop or divide and conquer. There are a few more ways that is tilt and tumble and do a supracapsular phaco and these pre-choppers have really redefined the ease with which we can tackle these soft nuclei so by now the side port and the capsule has been stained and I am going to do a triplanar incision A side port, 3 clock hours away is created. A 5.5 mm mark is made over the cornea which will help me guide the rexis. So, to do pre-chop, I would recommend to make a little bigger rexis, at least 5.25 to 5.5 in the beginning. Once you are used to this pre-chopper, then you can attempt doing it in smaller axis also. So we have got a fairly round, approximately 5.5 mm of axis, a good hydro dissection and a good nucleus rotation should be attempted. and the nucleus rotates easily and now is the time to take the pre-chopper in so in the left hand I have a long ball tipped chopper and this is the Akoshi pre-chopper so the tip down now I could see the Rex is being stretched while I am taking this large chopper inside. So carefully I hook the nucleus and gently take the sharp edge of the pre-chopper at the center and gently separate and I have got a good division and two heminuclei. So you can see. Now even I am trying to hold this soft nucleus. The FECO probe is eating it away. So it is such a soft nucleus that holding it is a big problem. I am trying to bring out one heminucleus out. So in such soft nuclei where the probe is unable to get a good hold, this pre-chopper gave a very quick and an easy division of the nucleus. And in this soft nucleus, if we even get two heminucleus, that is enough. We can bring out one heminuclei at a time and gently using minimum amount of vacuum, we can emulsify the complete nuclei. The parameters are reduced and the Epinucleus is also emulsified and now is the time to clean the cortex with a 22 gauge Simcoe cannula. 
the video has been sped up now two times its normal speed so to clean the 12 o'clock cortex it's better to go through the side port and now is the time to put the nucleus in the bag the leading haptic goes in the bag and the trailing haptic is then gently dialed in so the take home message is in order to do the soft nuclei pre chopping them is a very good idea you can work in the bag away from the endothelium and they give up repeatable result in these soft nuclei it's not necessary to have a chopper holding the pole of the nucleus you can straight away go with this sakahoshi pre chopper into the uh, center of the core of the nucleus and divide the nucleus but i prefer to hold the <coughs> nucleus at the pole so that i don't put any extra stress on the zonules do try this technique i hope you like this video thanks for watching